Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. We are back with Tuesday, day nine of our camp. I am super excited. Um, for those of you that are new and you are wondering what this is, this is our Summer Adventure Bible Journaling Camp. And so this little sign came from um, the Target Dollar Spot. It kind of was the beginning of the thought process of having a camp here online. And again, it's a, it's a Bible journaling camp. So, um, many of you who are part of this already have the kits and they've been mailed to you, but each day you can go gather supplies out of your current stash. I did a whole video if you want to use your own stash, different options you could use, and um, yeah, just hop in with us. So, push pause, go grab your stuff, and come on back. We'd love to have you. So, um, here is my little box of goodies, and I'm super excited. Did I say today was day 8 or 9? I think it's day 9. Yeah, day 9. Anyway, sorry. So, my box is starting to get a little funky. It's kind of getting to the end stuff, and but we're not. We're good. We've got 30 days, so we have plenty still to use. So, um, we still have papers and journaling cards and all kinds of goodies. So, just hang in there. We're going to make it all stretch out. Okay. So I'm going to put my box to the side and I'm going to show you what I did. So if any of y'all were watching when I did the, I had done some Bible journaling and I shared it to you. I was opening up my, my, um, little, um, uh, signature and my thing popped out and that's okay because every box is probably going to get too thick for these. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep this on for now and kind of use it, like, you know, to mark my spot or whatever when I finish each day. Kind of like a little, you know, ribbon bookmark. I know it's really cheesy, but that's what I'm going to do. I happen to have a rubber band from the local coffee shop and um, Summer Moon, and um, so it fits perfectly. It holds it. So, I'm just going to use this. You can have that. You don't have to have it. You can literally just take a ribbon and tie around it and put a bow on it and it's even prettier so go for it just use what you have if you're in the same spot don't worry about it i'm there too so all right so today i pulled one of my stickers of the three stickers i also pulled my little pink clothespin i may or may not use it but i just grabbed it just in case let me set this to the side I pulled one of my fabrics, so I pulled that bright green one. I pulled this scripture that says, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever, Psalm 73, 26. I don't know, we were driving out in the fields, you know, to, to run our errands today, to go to the post office, to then go to the Amazon drop spot, and, you know, we were looking at gorgeous fields of, of cotton in full bloom, of... The sorghum looks beautiful. They're harvesting it. The corn is about ready to be harvested. It was just a really pretty day. And, um, you know, it's hot here in Texas, but that's what it is in the summer. So, but it was just, I don't know, when I saw this, it made me think about that. And then the scripture, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart forever and my portion forever. I love that. I just love that. I mean, that is David, you know, encouraging us, you know. The Lord will guide you always. And this is Isaiah, hold on, 58, 11. Sorry, my eyes are so bad. But Isaiah 58, 11. So, it's just a double remembrance. The Lord will guide us forever. And my flesh and my heart may fail. But God is my strength of my heart and my portion forever. So, these are promise days. So, I thought we were going to do two pages. And I'm going to put here, you are capable of amazing things. Whatever your journaling card is, mine has this on one side, which is, I like that too. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do this, or maybe I'll do both and make it like a flip. I don't know. All right, friends, let's pray. Then we'll get started. But I just want to give you kind of a list of things to gather. So push pause, grab your goodies, come on back, and let's go to the Lord in prayer to open up. Okay. All right, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for each and every person who is a part of this camp. I am so inspired by each one of these amazing women who keep sending gorgeous pictures of how they're creating beautiful projects to you, using your scripture, using these products, God, and, and, and extras they have in their stash. And I'm just so humbled. I'm so humbled to know these women and to be inspired and encouraged by them. You're an awesome God, and you brought together so many amazing people to be here in this channel, and we just give it to you, Lord. This camp is yours. 
your will be done. And it's, I know we're starting day nine, and I, I think about that, we're almost a third through, and it's just like, oh, Lord, oh, it's going to come so fast. And I find that to be true in the weekly prayer project right now. It's just it, the end is coming so quick, but I know we have the next project, and I'm excited about that too, God. Lord, I also feel the same way about the 100 days of, of uh, Less Hustle, More Jesus. Lord, be with each and every person who are going through each of these different Bible studies or these different devotionals and encourage them, Lord, please. Grab hold. Let them have a desire to keep running the race till they get through the end of the project. And let that be their love gift to you, Lord, because we know your word is your love letter to us. Thank you for the opportunity to take that word and journal about it in our journals and craft with it, Lord. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' precious holy name I pray. Amen. Okay, friends. Sorry. Long-winded. I apologize. <laughs> so anyways, I also have in this bag my little friction pins that, guys, any pen will work. You have a pen in your kit. I am, because of my hands sometimes, I'm, you know, all the arthritis stuff, I, I just feel like I make more boo-boos than most people. So I've... Um, I just keep this with me. I carry these everywhere. I love these. My little tape printer. This is my pack that I carry around in whatever I'm working on. So whichever journal I'm working in. But I just want to share with you guys that's something I do. If you don't have that or if you have colored pins of any kind or if you just have, if you have anything, um, the pins that came in your kit, the, um, the, dollar store pens grab them throw them in a little ziploc bag i mean this is how i carry my washi that i carry with me and some extra journaling cards from felicity jane i mean it's not fancy it just works i mean i will wear this out until there's holes in it and then i'll just put it in another so you don't have to have a fancy bag i get scent bags or they come in kits and so that's where i have them but um you know ziploc bags work too good so uh or work is that right? Work, work good too. That's the order. Sorry. Anyways, um, another thing I want to share with you guys, I love, see, I give my daughter these little special cake pops and sometimes I get them too. They're really good. And, um, if they're not yuck yum inside, like they're pretty clean, nothing. Ooh, there's peach chocolate in there. Hmm. But anyways, not this one, but anyways, these are great to use. I mean, these you can cut up and use and paint and all kinds of stuff. So, you know, find the things that are free. I mean, seriously, just like this little band, find things that are free and add to. Does that make sense? Okay, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I want to do is cut out my scripture and... I mean, I look at the sticker and it says, let's get together. I'm not sure that I'm 100% sold on using that one, but who knows? Maybe by the end I will be. You never know, right? Um, I cut this one out, but this is a great one to tear edges on. Yeah, it really is. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one out just for time's sake because I don't want to use up all your time. But these are great ones because there's a lot of edge around the scripture that you can tear it. And uh, kind of uh, what I call junk journal it up, and um, and it looks beautiful. Another thing, if you don't like those little things down there, just cut it just short. Does that make sense? You don't have to have that on there if you don't want it. So I just, you know, that's how it came to me on the internet, so that's how I did it. Okay, let me get my trash out of the way. Alrighty. And then I'm not sure how I'm going to use this yet, but I think, I think today. I think, I think, I think, I think I want it to kind of frame this, because isn't that pretty? Because I really thought the colors in this kind of go, or even if I come down here, oh, I like that better. What do you guys think? And then it even, see, it even matches this. So, I think I know what I'm going to do. And then, you're capable of amazing things. Yes, I am. I think I know what I'm going to do. Okay, we are going to keep going here. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably thinking, well, good. I thought that's what we were going to do. Anyway, so I'm going to cut this out and let it frame it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be what I like it to be. So, alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and go with this. Now, this is a great chance, and so many of you have sent me pictures. This is a great time to pull, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. Because I love you guys, and so many of you come back with great projects. Um, this is, I mean, 
it's not quite that color, but it kind of, let me see what other colors. Oh, no. I have green. Should I do green? Maybe I'll do, I'll do both. Let's do both because that pink is kind of in there too. So I'm going to take everything off and I'm just going to get me a damp white. Okay. And this one kind of is juicy. So if you have one that's been out, oh, I do. I have one that's been, oh, this is a damp paper towel. Even better if you don't have wipes. So I'm going to show you, you can use this. This was a paper towel that I had under my drink. So it wouldn't sweat all over the table because, you know, in Texas it's hot. So um, it's damp. It's the perfect amount of dampness. I'm just going to say it that way. So, and yes, I should have shook that up a little bit better. But, you know, I'm relying upon... <laughs> The really good craftsmanship of the ceramic coat, okay, from Target. But these paints were less than a dollar, and they were from Target. And I just got an email today. Um, you can get Michael's paint, 79 cents, or they have a huge kit with a 20% off coupon. And it's like, I, I, it's like 20 cents. I, I, it's 30 cents a pot, uh, thing of this. So, anyways, go look on Michael's, look around, look for coupons, see what you can get, okay? Sign up for their emails if you don't get them. So just smush it. Just smush it. Just do what you want. I mean, I'm just wanting background color because what's, you know, paper is beautiful, but sometimes paper can get pricey and you want a really cost effective way to add color to your pages. Then just take a little jar of paint and add some color. Isn't that easy? And that will dry by the time I get through with the pink. I know. It's that great. Okay, I'm going to shake this one because I, I heard you. <laughs> So, and I love this pink. It's so, it's like bubble gum, yummy pink. So I'm going to put it on this side. But I'm also going to put a little touch of that green because I really like it. Okay, so I can just turn it back around and maybe I add a little bit more. And yes, I'm going the different direction. You can go any direction you want. You can go in circles. Do what you like. Seriously, it's your project. Okay? And I'm doing little, like, eyelash flicks. <laughs> it's that. That's an official term, okay? Right? Bible journaling? Eyelash flicks. <laughs> All right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm totally happy with that. You can also use your your stamps you can use all kinds of stuff so use what you have um you know even if the stamp doesn't work you can word it so it might work you know what i mean also i think i'm gonna throw i have a washi that has both these colors in it because i was using it this weekend <laughs> so and this was from tuesday morning i believe and i think it's from my mind's eye and isn't this the perfect one it goes perfectly with my hundred days so anyways, um, I am going to throw this down just for something more. I know. And, and seriously, guys, do not feel like you have to do this. Do this if you like doing this. Um, let it be something that you enjoy. And another great money-saving craft item besides the, the paint is washi. Use... Um, I think I got like four rolls for $2.99 or $2.99. And, um, and this will last me, I don't know how long. It's, it's already been used endlessly. So, and I'm tearing a little piece off. It was a little too long, so I'm going to put it over here. Just to throw some more color on the page. That's it. Voila. Okay, let me get this out of the way. All right. So now I want to put down this and then put my scripture on top. So let's get going. And this is already, is it about dry? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's really crazy how quick that dries. Okay. All right. It's not 100% dry, but we're going to hurry because you're, I don't want to eat up all your time. Okay. Got to find the top. Got to find the bottom. Now, I will tell you right now, glue would be much better, but a, a a tape runner that has permanent tape on it works just fine depending on how much you want to get it down. Um, something called Fabri-Tac is even better. And, hold on. I've got one more thing. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I've got lots of stuff in my in my dealie bob here from the trip. 
Oh goodness, what did I do? Okay, I was gonna say tear and tape that I know I took on my trip, and I have so perfectly put. Have I filed it? Oh goodness, it must be down in one of my bags. And tear and tape would be even better because it's very permanent. And this particular one is just ad tech from, I get it at Hobby Lobby with a coupon. So I'm just going to set that down right there. And see that color coming out um, around it? I really like that. And if you want more paint to show, use, you know, scooch it over in the white more. So, but I like the white. I'm a white space planner. And I love the white in journaling, so I can also write there. So, now, you know what this would be really good with is, um, like, dimensional pop-up craft tape. That is, that would be fantastic. That would pop up. But, again, that's not necessarily what you have in your kit. Use what you have if you want to stay within the kit. I totally understand. So, you know what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to pick this washi back up and I'm going to create a flap. Isn't washi great? <laughs> you can just make a mistake and it just keeps on going. So I think I am just going to do that. I love that. Isn't that great? Isn't it great how mistakes turn out so beautifully sometimes? <laughs> By the grace of God our mistakes work. <laughs> So I encourage you not to go beyond, you know, the side flap because then it just, you know, won't hold on as well. So, and I usually put a whole thing down, so that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to put some more on the inside right here to kind of secure it. But it doesn't have to be as long. But don't go beyond it. Does that make sense? Yeah, why waste it, right? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put this down. And voila. We have a hinged journaling card, and you can write all around it. You can write on the front. You can, you know, use a word to describe this day and put it there. And then I'm going to now add this beautiful little goodie. Whoops, hold on. And I'm really going crazy with tape here. Sorry, guys. Okay, don't use as much tape as I'm using because this is really sticky. <laughs> don't do as I do. Do as I say. Okay, learn from my silly, and look, it closed perfectly, and then there it is. So I love that. Okay, so do I want to use this Let's Get Together? Let me look at this one again. You know what? I do want to use it because the scripture here says the Lord will guide you always. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this as my title up here. You don't have to have a title. So it says, let's get together. The Lord will guide you always. Isaiah 58, 11. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. I love that. So I think I'm going to save this. I love this, but I think I'm going to save this. And you can even save this and use it. And I will save it and use it. So I know I'm so cheap, aren't I? Goodness gracious. And I still have a little piece left of this. So it all depends on what you want to use and how you want to use it. So there is my day. So today was day nine. And I need to get out my numbers. Let me see what color. I think I want to go with green. And these are just from the Dollar Tree. I don't think these are the best alphabet numbers. But they are working for me. Um, I've had to kind of cover one up that didn't do well. The blues haven't been as good as the other colors. So I'm just going to put my 8 there. Hold on. There we go. So there's my day. Oh wait. We're on day 9 aren't we? Yes we are. <laughs> so I'm going to take my 8 back and stick it back here. <laughs> oh my goodness if it survives it'll still be there for 18 and 28. <laughs> Okay, here's my day nine. Sorry, I know I could hear you. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, and I'm going to take my pen, and I'm going to put today's date, which this will go up tomorrow, and today is the 21st, so this will go up Tuesday. 
Tuesday, um, July, and I'm going to make double check, sure, 22nd. Oh, is today the 22nd? It is. Tomorrow's the 23rd. Praise God, I double checked. But again, I'm using my friction pen so I can erase it. <laughs> July 22nd, and it is 2019. So that was kind of an easy peasy, lemon squeezy, still gives me lots of room to journal. I can also put things up here. And yeah. And honestly, if you want to write on these, you might need like a Sharpie, Sharpie pen, just as an FYI. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I love feedback and I'm loving your pictures. Guys, please still keep emailing me your pictures. You are encouraging me in ways that are beyond all words. And I just so appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm so happy to hear how God is working in your life when you're going through these. Um, they're not fancy kits. They're really basic kits. But I just wanted to show you guys, it doesn't take much. It just doesn't. And if you buy things that you can use over and over again, like the fabric we can cut bits and pieces off, the washi we can use repetitively, the stickers, the the printouts, you know, I mean, and then the paint. The paint's fantastic. So, um, but I hope this encourages you today because even if you don't have this card, you are capable of amazing things. It is by God. He's, he's designed you for amazing things. So hold on to that. Okay, friends, I'm going to pray, let you go, and yeah, we're doing good. All right. Dear Lord, we just bow before you. We thank you for today, God, and we thank you for this time to come together as friends. Will you tell us in your word where two or more gather together, there you will be also. And God, I'm so excited for each and every person that goes through this camp. You know it was my heart's desire to do something that would encourage others as well as showing that it doesn't have to be expensive. And we thank you, God, for all the people who've donated and given amazing things and time and energy and, and products, and we just ask a special blessing on them. And Lord, thank you. Thank you for your word. And Lord, as we look at this today, oh Lord, thank you so much that you are our portion forever, that you give us strength in our heart, God, that you are with us always. We praise you. We thank you for all that you're doing. In Jesus' precious, holy, amazing name I pray. Amen. Okay, friends. Day 9. Come back. Tomorrow will be day 10. And then I will do 6 through 10. I think I already shared. No, you know what? I did 1 through 8 in my Bible journaling video. So I'll probably do another week. And then I'll do it at the end of the week. But... Um, I kind of got a little overzealous there and did a little bit more than what had originally been, you know, said, that I said I would do. So, anyways, um, go look for the Bible journaling video. It's going to be posted the same time I post this for tomorrow. And I hope that that encourages you guys. I have kept it very, very simple. So I don't want you to feel like, you know, you have to be really, really fancy in your Bible. Um, you don't. You do not at all. So, this is your love letter, your creation, your gift back to God. It is your chance to grow in the Word. It is, that's what it is. And you guys have done an amazing job in it. So, just keep seeking His Word. Study His Word. You know, in the little bitty scriptures that are coming in this, you can go and look in your Bible and read all around it and see what was going on because God's Word is amazing. All right, friends. I will be talking to y'all later. I pray that your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. And uh, y'all just keep serving him well. He's with you. He's here to encourage you. All right, friends. I'll talk to you soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.